Altrigan 5, Leamington 0. It's been a fantastic afternoon at the J. Davidson Stadium in front of 1,025. And we're talking to Jake Malt, the Altrigan captain. Jake, uh, just what we needed this afternoon after what's been a difficult couple of weeks. Yeah, certainly. Uh, I thought the, the boys were, were excellent. Uh, I think we dominated for 90% of the match, uh, possession-wise, and we created chances and we took them today, uh, which is obviously important. But I think overall we, we, we dominated possession, which allowed us to, to get into those positions and ultimately get the win that we got. So, yeah, it was, uh, it was great today, yeah. Started the game on the front foot and we scored an excellent uh, first goal. Uh, James Jones has knocked the ball out. Andy White, a really good run into space and a perfect cross. And uh, Jordan does what he's uh, doing regularly now, five goals in five games. Yeah, of course. It's pivotal for us to, to see Jordan on the score sheet. He's obviously a massive, massive player for us. And I don't think he scored for the first couple or what have you. And, uh, it, now, he's, now he's hitting form. It just helps us so much. But superb ball from, from Jigger there inside the fullback and a great cross from, from Whitey. And, yeah, it's a, it's a good all-round goal. Probably something that we, well, it is something that we work on a lot, playing through the thirds and probably on display uh, perfectly there. So, yeah, it was a great goal. And then we've had the misfortune of uh, Yusufu uh, Cisse pulling up with what looked like not such a good uh, hamstring injury. Um, and then we seem to lose momentum a little bit. Yeah, I, yeah, I think it's difficult when you have to make a few changes. I think Connor went down a few five, five, ten minutes after and probably lost a little bit of... Uh, lost away a little bit but we, we soon gained it back and they, they hit the post so that's maybe a little bit of a striker look I think that was at 1-0 wasn't it I think uh, so that's a little bit of a striker look that we might have needed we've we've had plenty of bad luck in these first nine ten games so that that might be a little bit a little bit, a little bit of luck that we needed so again Yusuf I don't think he's too bad a uh, big player for us uh, so yeah yeah, um, Kieran Dunbar's hit the post for Leamington and Tony Thompson's made a good save as well from a, a long-range shot. But the second goal was key and it was an interesting one because a great ball from Ash Hemmings and JJ's sort of, sort of stumbled on the ball, but it sort of helped us because I think it allowed our runners to get through. And of course, Josh is a very intelligent player, so he's kept on going as he should do. And although Leamington were back in position, he's uh, created some space for himself and it looked a routine header, but it was an excellent goal. Oh, great, great goal. I think that was probably the pick of the bunch for me. I thought JJ was unlucky there, a little bit sticky. He got the ball, ball caught, caught under his feet. But that shows the quality of his guy as well as being an excellent dribbler of the ball and being able to go past people. He, he has got the vision to pick somebody out. And to be fair, Hanks could, couldn't do, couldn't miss really. And it's a great timed run. And he's took out JJ with the cross. He's took everybody out. The keeper can't really come for it. The defenders, obviously on the back foot. And yeah, it's a great finish, great goal. The third goal... Um Josh's body language would indicate it probably was an own goal. I think so. I think so. Jordan was trying his best to claim it, so I'll let, you, I'll let Jordan fight that out with the referee. Yeah, Jordan seems to claim any goal within about where well, he's within, stood within 20 yards, but it definitely wasn't Jordan's uh, goal. Uh, after that, um, fairly comfortable, and then we scored two late goals. Good to see Tom uh, Pierce getting on the score sheet. And once again, great thinking, quick thinking by JJ. And Simon Richmond, who's made a lot of runs in, in that right-back position into the right-wing uh, channel. Perfectly uh, timed run, not the ball across, and it's a simple finish. Yeah, we know Simon can obviously fill in at that right-back slot, and I thought he did excellent. Uh, it's always hard coming on into games and getting to the, the pace of the game, but again, I thought he did excellent. And again, it probably it shows today what we're, we're all about in terms of quick play, playing through through the thirds and again that's another another great great goal uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy for Piers he works incredibly hard never never really moans never really gets his head down and he knows how difficult it is obviously with Jordan in front of him and Jordan being such a good player but uh, Tom will only just learn off him and very happy for him there he, he needed that and it was a it was obviously a routine finish but yeah it was a great bit of play. Josh has sealed it with his second and Altrincham's fifth in added uh, time. And that's three assists for JJ. So he's not started the game, but he's had a big impact on the game. Oh, yeah, certainly. I think 90% of the time, JJ will always have an influence on the game if, you, if you're getting him the ball to feet. Obviously, he's a player that likes to get a lot of the ball and likes to, tr to travel with the ball. And again, uh, I'm very happy for Josh as well. He's come in, he's, he's had it a little bit difficult. Obviously, he was suspended for the first three, I think it was. Then he picked up that little hamstring injury, I think it was, in the calf, or I think it was hamstring. And then he's come in and he scored two today. And again, it showed what Josh is all about. So, yeah, very happy for him. It made a big difference seeing Josh, Han Josh Hancock back to his old self and linking us up so well as he does. 
Yeah, it's a really, we, we talk about it all the time, but it's a really difficult position, that 10. Uh, you have to work incredibly hard in terms of defensively and getting the right side of your man defensively, but also having that quality to get on the half turn. It's probably, I personally think it's the hardest thing to do on, in football to get on that half turn and help us play forward. And he does that, he does that so well. He's a strong boy. So he, he, he either can protect it and move us forward or he lets the ball roll and he, he gets us playing forward really well. So again, re really pleased for him today. I thought he was excellent. And I uh, can't finish the interview without mentioning Ashley Hemmings. He's had a fantastic game uh, today. Um, one really good assist free kick for the third goal and a wonderful effort, which, uh, you know, the, the, the crossbar and post seem to be sort of rocking for about half a minute afterwards. Yeah, incredibly unlucky. We all know the quality. Again, Ash has got uh, probably had a little bit of a slower start than he likes, like everybody really, and he's come into it. And you can see his quality. Obviously, he's, he's superb. He comes in and he, he plays inside uh, a lot and he can go outside, obviously, uh, and take the fullback down the outside. And obviously, that finish, I, I thought it was miles over, to be honest, and it, it just dipped all of a sudden and so unlucky not to go in. Uh, and he, yeah, he deserved he deserved something today. But yeah, again, another one who was excellent. And when, and when we've got players who are, who, who are playing seven eight nine out of ten uh we're, we're, we're going to win a lot of games of football i think we've just been a little bit inconsistent and today obviously you've got your, your, your big players your front four as such you've all been excellent jj uh ash obviously hanks and Hume, all four have been have been excellent so well, i think we're always going to get something out of a game when they're on that kind of form Two late goals has uh, put a nice sheen on the scoreline. But I, I would imagine with just a couple of minutes to go, the main thing from Phil, Phil and Neil's point of view was keep a clean sheet. I think from the lads as well, as as, as much as they wanted a clean sheet. I think we, we, we talked about it before the game about getting clean sheets. Uh, at the end of the day, if you, if you keep the ball at your end, we're always going to score goals. We've got good players, like I just mentioned there, in the front four. And uh, we're always going to score goals. So if we can keep the ball out the one end, we, we'll have a we'll have a chance to to win games and get to where we need to be. And another ninety minutes for you, and it's difficult. You've come back in, and the only way you can get match fit is by playing matches. And you now you've got another ninety minutes under your belt. You played at Southport on uh, Tuesday as well, so that's that's really good news. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I felt, I felt great today. Yeah, obviously Southport coming into Southport was was tricky. Uh, they they were on top of us quite a lot, and we we found it difficult to uh, to get out. But today we're 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 in much more control. They had much more possession of the ball, and uh, yeah, felt great, felt great. That's the thoughts of Voltringham captain Jake Malt after the 5-0 victory over Leamington this afternoon. Kidderminster Harry is the next action. We're at Agborough next Saturday afternoon for a 3 p.m. kickoff.